How are you doing and how have you been? So, we left off from last episode. We're going after Tartudio. He's down here in the temple. We've been informed by a strange man. He's looking for some sort of power. So we're trying to find what he's up to now. Wish us luck. The unpause is when you know the stuff is for real. Well, apparently the area's become uncovered for more reason than not, but we're just basically going to buff our characters before we go in. Because we know that it's not hardly going to be a um, tickle party when we move forward. A gnome in garbishly purple garb seizes your attention. Of course, the scoundrel Tartudio, who you know from your time in Restaurant. The vile gnome is standing on a small hill, expressing his discontent in every way he can muster. Let me guess, you're still dawdling. <laughs> Should I make some tea in the meantime? Bake a pie, perhaps? Plant a small garden and harvest some cherries? Perhaps you'd be more comfortable wearing fool's caps and collared trousers? Then at least I'd be able to sell tickets. Come one, come all! Feast your eyes upon the slowest and the most ridiculous buffoons in Galorian! His motivational speaking is amazing. Sir Tartuccio, I may serve you. I am no one's slave. We do what we can, but it is no simple feat to find an unknown object in the Mark's dungeon. Hold your tongue, gnome. I can hardly tell your twaddle from the buzzing of a fly. Quickly now. If we don't find that artifact soon, someone else might seize it. Someone who's standing over there watching you right now, you fools! <laughs> Valerie, I would say that you and your sword can find greater glory than in the service to Tartutio. He summoned you to fight for the Staglord's bandits and now uses you for more questionable dealings. You're right. Tartuccio has deceived us. A warrior who bows to a lie, who humiliates herself. There is no glory in this. I shall aid this scoundrel no more. Good choice. I see my magnificent rival will stop at nothing, even at stealing the servants of his enemy. Let us see if your fools are even more useless than mine. Draw your swords and cover my retreat. Yeah! You propose I need inspiration. Lovely. Amari, go forward, so then we can hopefully get the charge on that one. Aaron, move there, please. We need to get that summon monster spell. Summon monster. Lindsay, try and get hideous laughter on him, just twice a little bit of time. Hideous laughter, lovely. Uh, Berserk. Can we charge? We can charge. Uh, Tzastical, we want you to magic missile. Six and a five, doing good damage. Another magic missile, please. Then we want to move up. Whoa, 23, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Really nice. Can we charge again? That's a big mercenary, I think. Don't want her charging over there. There's only so long Valerie's going to hold out for. And I don't want Amari so far away from... No, charge that. that range person, what's he doing? Oh, look at that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Can I get... A... Oh, why do I keep doing that? It's really easy to just accidentally slide them out. Can I get a grease there? Whoa. She is cutting them down. Let's see if we can get a daze off. Lindsay, move forward. Serves you right. Um, no, let's do that. May I suggest another way to use this spell? Yeah, because that's the ear. It's not going to come up for some reason. Ear piercing screen, which does damage as well. It tries to do um, daze. Right, turn around a magic missile because I'm really concerned that Aram's going to fall. He does not fall brilliant. Glugger potion, my man. And then we want a magic missile him. Lindsay, can you try and hideous laugh him, please? 
Oren, you really need to heal up, mate. We need you into the fray. Oh, 22. Who did the 22? She's getting big, big damage. Hey! Well done, guys. We done it. And she joins our crew. That is so awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we can level her up! Way! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> I'm far too happy for my own good. That, that's the problem. Thing is, that scoundrel Tartudio, he had it coming. Let's have a look at Valerie then. Alright, here we are. We're going very plain with some of the levels up. We're not really dipping into any other things, but we will try and dip. I'm not really an expert of knowing how to do it. So we've got three points. So athletics, persuasion, and then we'll go the world. Why not? I think that sounds good. And we get a feat. Now she is going to be our tank. Shield focus. Increase the AC bonus granted by any shield you were using by one. So what's shield wall? Whenever you're wielding a shield on adjacent to an ally wearing a shield, that has this feat. The AC bonus from your shield increases. Uh, I think shield bonus sounds quite good. And that's what we're going to go with. I'm happy with that. And our crew, we just need to rearrange them now. Because Valerie... You can be on the front. Then we've got the Berserker. The Cleric. I don't want them miles behind, but I just want them like slightly off. So then the enemies hopefully don't beeline. Because basically we want to protect the casters at the back. That goes without saying. Something like that, I think. March on. Yeah, I like that. Has she got any skills? Not really. She's got a potion of shield faith. That's fine. Yeah, she wants to be on... She's never going to hit anything. She's going to stay on defensive. She is just going to soak up damage while everyone else does stuff. Right. There's only one more thing to do, everyone. And it's the one thing to do that everyone really wants to do. It's... Let's get to looting! If I could be bothered to edit, I'd do them... You know, them air horn edit... But you're like, and you're like, hype. It doesn't go, Ugh. I don't know why I'm not moving when I'm talking. It seems from afar to be cracked in the stone, but turns out to be a faded image of the sun. A green jackal skull has recently been scratched on top of the image. Very interesting. All right, let's loot all these party people. What's that? Scorched fragment of a necklace. Long sword. On closer inspection, one can discern the outline of a head with a single eye. Judging by the outline, this bas relief once depicted the sun and moon. Now it's almost completely eroded. The image carved in the stone has almost completely worn away over the ages. One can still distinguish a sickle, a sword, and a skull with a single eye socket covered with a coin. It's very interesting. What have we got here? Scroll of corrosive touch. Your successful melee touch attack deals 1d4 points of Acid damage per caster level. That sounds quite good. It is done. Well, let's move forward. We are in a temple, so I'm half expecting some traps or something. Oh, a wall moved. Follow me. Didn't expect a whole wall to move. Oh, no, there's something here, though. Just an ancient Cyclops coin? 
antique collectors might pay handsomely for it. That's interesting. Right, let's see what's down here. Oh, a trap. There we go. Bass relief of the sun long eroded, the vague outlines of four strange creatures have been carved over it. I'm very curious about this area. Some more gold. Hmm. Very curious indeed with what's going on. Do need to find out where that scoundrel Tartudio has gone to. Because he made everyone else do their fighting and just sort of run. I think that suits him quite nicely, doesn't it? Um, I was hoping you'd actually be able to heal yourself. Apparently I was asking too much. How sweet the first breath of fresh air after the stale, damp stuffiness of that tomb. Before us stretched an unending earth, repeat with hills and gullies and patches of low shrubs. Already the trail of Tartuccio and his companions has gone cold. Alright, let's see. So, nature law. But we would not give up that easily, whether the trail went cold or not. Success! No blade of grass was bent. It must have had enough time to straighten back up, since whoever last passed through. But the heath-dry earth preserved the prints of little shoes. I'm guessing Tartuccio's. Our eyes to the ground, we followed the trail. We walked and walked until finally we came to a huge gully, the dried up bed of a river of yore. But what is this? At the edge the grass was trampled down and the soil turned up. And claw prints, lots of them, we'd stumbled upon a fresh battlefield. This is interesting. And here the trail split. One set of footprints walked away from the battle and down into the gully. The brave footprints that faced down their enemies followed the path along its edge. Um, we try to... Do we do it? No, we do the law. So we try to imagine who or what left those claw marks. Succeed! And here the trail split. One of the footprints walked away from the battle and down into the gully. The brave footprints that faced down their enemies followed the path along its edge. The claw marks were not deep, the attackers were small and lean, and more of these creatures walked on two legs. Finally the form of the prince left no doubt in our minds that we stub onto Kilbert lands. Okay, interesting. Uh, detect magic, we tried to find any traces of magic. Uh, we discovered traces of magic, apparently from the Illusion School of Magic near where the lonely trail descended into the gully. Hmm, we carefully studied the trail that led down into the gully. To our surprise, we discovered that the little shoes prints turned into little clawed footprints on their way to the gully, as if someone from Tartudio's band was wearing shoes and either took them off or grew claws and jumped into the gully to avoid the battle. Gonna manage Tartudio use illusion magic to avoid the fight. Um, we examined the path that slaked along the gully. The path was frequently used in its dust. We saw both sets of footprints together. It was clear that those who had no claws left the battle, surrounded by those who did. Um, we stood a while and fought, then followed the single footprints down the gully. The way was steep and it took some time to reach the bottom. Walking on the loose soil was difficult, but the clawed footsteps were easy to spot. The bottom of the gully went downhill deeper and deeper. Finally, the footprints turned, whirling up the steep slope and disappearing at the gully's edge. We couldn't but admire the animal, animal agility and clever claws of the creature we were following. The slope before us was tall as tall as two tall men, and ended at hanging crests. Climbing such a slope would be no easier than climbing a sheer wall. However, a long steady route 
a wrong steadily looking root stuck out of the ground from the top. So let's see if our mobility check. Who is our mobility check? Lindsay. There was one brave hero among us who to try to try his luck and climb the root. Go on, Lindsay. Yay! Succeed! After tugging on the root, Lindsay took a deep breath, grabbing it with both hands and began the difficult ascent, pushing with her feet against the slope and grabbing the root with both hands. She climbed higher and higher, only a heavy breathing and the faint crackling of root broke the deadly silence. Suddenly, dust poured down from the top of the slope and the root began to slide from the ground. Keeping her wits, Lindsay shifted her weight to her legs and froze. After a tense moment, she continued her journey and soon reached the top of the slope. After catching her breath, she lay on the ground and offered her hand to help the next of us up. After climbing out of the gully one by one, we easily found the claw prints again and moved forward. The air grew tense. We sensed that we were approaching our target and our intu intuition proved correct. Interesting. And here we go. It's quite a big map. March on. We haven't really rested, but I don't feel like we use too energy. much of us. Arim is sort of lacking a bit. We use a lot of his stuff. Oh, here we go. Listen to me. A dragon, huge, sparkling, flew down to me from the sky and told me a secret. A great relic that will win the kobold's glory is hidden somewhere nearby. Enough of this pitiful existence. Search for it. Search and bring it to me. I love how it says Tartudio. <laughs> it doesn't even like try and hide who it is. So he's obviously using illusion magic. And he's getting them to look for it. Jeez. I was I thought the voice was gonna carry on. We know the matrix under the old sycamore. They possess the magic treasure. Very ancient. So I'm going to do lawful good. Stop deceiving these poor reptiles, Tartudio. Who is there? How? Here, you fools. I, I mean, five men. <laughs> Don't listen to his lies. I shall bring you to glory. Just help me find the relic and stop his tricks. <laughs> That's so funny. To victory. Yeah. Only two of them are attacking us. Should be able to take them, surely. Repent. So, Valerie, go up first. There we go. Your life ends low. Not doing it wrong. Oh, I, I never know how to use that. But Amari can get the flanking bonus. You can use Bane. Valerie, you're meant to be our top. So do some tanky things. <laughs> do some tanky things, please. Um, should have really used your buff earlier. Um, might as well go into rage mode. Touch of chaos, no. Just need to hit, really. Some sort of attack from someone would actually be really important. Right, looks like we're gonna have to magic missile. Only got one cast left. But we're just getting in a lot of trouble. Oh, that was a big hit, big hit. Bang. We might have to rest at some point. Magic missile. Our sorcerers are coming in clutch. Another three. Nearly dead. There we go. Jeez. 
That was just two of them. It is done. Obviously, we're just looting everything at this point. Um, us. I'm concerned that, that took a real big beating out of us. So we're just going to use some potions. Just make sure everyone's healed up. And I suppose we continue no forth. It's a mushroom over there or something. Right, what's in this then? There's an imprint on the ground near the empty chest. It looks like another chest of the same size was recently sat beside this one. Some food. Some more food. We like food. All right, we're just going to check the map properly. We don't want to miss anything that's hiding. The legendary sword that's, you know. There we go. Another coin? That's like there's quite a few. I wonder if they're like collectibles. Uh, is that just a mushroom? Cool. Oh, it's not as big as a map that as I thought it was going to be. And that's it. Bit anticlimactic, I'm not going to lie. Wonder if we can just get the trail. Like, pick up the trail straight away, or has the trail gone cold for a bit? No, the old sycamore, that's where they say that's where he is. So maybe that will have to be our next adventure. Go. I wonder if we should just chase him down while we're going at it. I don't think we need to rest. I mean, we've got all our spells. Arim's lost like, one of his buffs, but we do have that in a scroll. So I'm wondering if... I think we can just go forward, to be honest. It's just whether we go to the old sycamore... Or we go up to the bandits. And I wonder if we... I don't know. I think we will decide that on the next episode. If you've got to this part of the video, make sure you subscribe, like, and I'll catch you next time. When I can decide what we're actually going to do. <laughs> yeah, not really sure. Maybe... We are on touch. I don't know. Bye. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? The video's over. I don't know what to do. <laughs>